Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at this really cool educational puzzle game known as Against the Gradient. This is a game that was released on Steam in July of 2017, and if you love biology, you should definitely check it out. Anyway, welcome to What the Math. So first and foremost, this game is actually not very expensive, uh, I only paid a few bucks for it, and unfortunately it's not also very long, it only has something like like 20-ish levels, I were, I'm already halfway through it and honestly I'm loving what I see so far, so hopefully they'll add more levels as they develop this game a little bit more. But basically the idea here is that this is an educational biology game that teaches you a lot about um, cell transportation and various transporters, various cell structures, and a lot of really cool facts uh, that you may have not known about when it comes to cell biology. Now, if you're a high school student or if you're a university student doing, bi doing biology, this game is just for you. It will definitely help you um, remember the cells, remember the various uh, transporter elements of every cell, and even if you just like puzzle games, this might be a game for you. So, how does this work? You usually have a few transporters to choose from in the beginning of the level. So here we have an actual, and these are by the way actual transporters that exist in your body right now that are doing just this. Uh, you have GLUT4, which transports glucose. You have um, SCN1A, which transports sodium. Um, KCSA, which transports potassium. Then there is SGLT1 that usually transports sodium and glucose, but against the gradient, and the gradient is something that you have to consider here, and I'll explain to you what it means in a second. And then there is this one here, uh, sodium, potassium, ATPase, which usually uses um, energy to transport both sodium and potassium. This is something that you may have learned in high school biology. Now there's also these um, nanomachines that have been sort of developed uh, through nanotechnology to do various types of transportations because eventually the game becomes a relatively challenging puzzle and so here various machines do various things. You have to always consider which transporter to take. We're going to take this one here because this is just to teach you how to play this game and here this is what the game actually looks like. So what's going on here? We have the um, lipid bilayer which is basically the cell layer that protects it from the outside environment. This is the cell itself. This, this is the mitochondrion producing energy, which you can see in yellow flying around. And uh, on, on the outside, we have these purple molecules, which I believe are potassium. On the inside, we have blue molecules, which are glucose. Oh, and also we have green, which is sodium. Now, what we have to do is we have to try to rebalance the gradient so that all of these numbers are basically the way that they're, they're listed here. So we have to have uh, six green molecules here zero here and six here. So how do we do this? Well, we can just take one of these things, place them in there and see what happens. So as you can see, this is actually, this is not the right, uh, I didn't take the right uh, transporter with me. This is the glucose transporter and unfortunately it doesn't help me solve this level. So I'm gonna actually go back and take the correct transporter. So here we go. This is the one we need to use here. and. It, if you'll see in a second, it's going to take an energy molecule known as ATP. It's going to take a bit of sodium, two sodiums as a matter of fact. And on the other side, it's going to try to get a few potassium molecules. And then it will magically transport them, no, not, not magically, scientifically transport them uh, on the opposite side of the cell. Now, now this is actually how these transporters do work in your cell as well. And this is a perfect visual way of learning about various transporters, various cell structures. And it's actually kind of a fun puzzle. It's not super difficult, and maybe this is actually a bit of a disadvantage because I kind of wish it was a little bit more challenging. Um, but I haven't reached further levels, so I don't know how, how difficult it gets. But so far, I was able to beat most of these levels relatively easy. Now, one thing you have to consider here is the gradient. Just like in everything else in life, Green needs to be balanced here, so you need to have... Oh, let me sh actually show you what this means by uh, what, by gradient. Let me just finish this level and I'll show you what gradient means and how it plays a role in this game. You can also actually advance the clock a little bit to make this faster. And there we go, goal is reached. We've solved this level. 
Now here's an example of how gradient works in this game. So you'll notice that there's a lot more green stuff here than here. Basically, there's no green stuff here. So if I place this molecule here, or not molecule, sorry, if I place this uh, protein here, which is the transporter protein, you'll notice that it will start balancing out the gradient until each of them will get about five on average. And after this, let me accelerate time here. After this, it will just kind of stay around five. It will never go below five on either side. So now the gradient is balanced, and basically, that, that's how it will stay. Um, now, in some of these puzzles, you will need to actually get to a specific number. So you will need to really think about which uh, transporters to put where in order for you to actually get the specific number of molecules needed on each side. So for example, so here's one level where you really need to start thinking about gradients and place uh, various transporters specifically at a specific location at a specific time. So, for example, if I were to just place the purple transporter here right now, this is what would happen. So I can place a, a couple of purples here, now start uh, transporting molecules, I'll reach seven here. Okay, well, I've already kind of screwed up, so there's six here, and it will be very difficult for me to, to get to back to seven, because I will never be able to get seven here, or even eight here. So at this point, I need to restart the level because as soon as I place the gradient here to try to get this back to seven, it's actually going to fall down. So this is already a fail. So I need to really think and really time this just right. So here, we're gonna try this again. We're gonna wait a few more and one more. And here we go, seven here three here we need to have um one here which once again means that i won't be able to solve the solo because as soon as i place a transporter here because there's three on this side and three on that side this will really not have any exchange going so once again i need to restart the level and that means i screw up again so how do we actually solve this level well this is how because this has more concentration this has zero concentration and this has the highest concentration we're going to start by placing the purple thing here and we're going to get rid of two on this side one two done so this now has one this has two i will now do the same on this side getting rid of three on that side one two and another purple three done so now we have seven five one perfect purple solved and now we're going to do the same for blue there's 20 blue here there's none here none here so we're going to start by placing one blue in here and we can also start placing a green here as well because we want to get rid of a few of these on that side so now it takes a bit of you getting used to but basically you're multitasking here you're looking at green you're looking at blue as soon as there's seven green here we're going to close this down there we go and now we need to have one green on this side done green is solved and now it's only blue and here we can start placing blue in here as well as soon as this gets to 10, we're going to get rid of this pro uh, this transporter, transporting protein, and this will now be level solved as soon as this gets to 5. So essentially, this is how this game works in a nutshell. It's definitely educational, it's definitely puzzle-like and fun, and anyone who loves biology definitely needs to check this out. Now, there's obviously a, lot of, a bit of shortcomings in this game, such as, for example, just not enough levels. Like, I'm going to be done with this in less than an hour. And that's a bit of a disappointment because the game is fun and I really wish they created more levels. But the advantage here is that you can actually create your own levels. You can make your own levels and uh, you can play them uh, or show them to your friends and let them play uh, through those levels. Um, but however, obviously, it'd be nice to actually have some kind of a community where you can exchange levels, where you can actually download new levels because this is really what this puzzle game is all about. Uh, on the other hand, uh, it's definitely cheap and it's definitely worth having just for the sake of having, especially if you like educational games. So if you love biology, if you love uh, puzzle games, Against the Gradient might be the game for you. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Space out. And as always, bye-bye.